Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking the last 10-ish eyeshadow palettes that have come into my collection. So uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. This will probably be a regular thing on my channel every month or two, um, depending on how fast and how many things come into my collection. I think Annette's Makeup Corner was the first person to do this video idea, and then I know Batty Bean and uh, Nikki Raven both do this, and so I've been really inspired by them, and I like the I like coming back and, and actually like giving more thoughts on my purchases. I know Angelic Nyquist also does a similar thing where she does a monthly haul at the end of the month and then like a month later ranks everything in that haul. Um, so it's a little different, you know, same vein. And I, re I really like that like coming back and reflecting again. So I'm gonna do that today. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup, especially indie makeup and colorful makeup. And you will see a lot of colorful makeup in this uh, ranking. So um, I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So this is not quite 10 items, but it's basically everything I've been using for the last month and a half or so, two months, everything since mid-September, I would say. And I finally have thoughts on most of these, so I figured it was about time. Um, I will also say I like basically everything on the list, so it was kind of ranking more on color story than on quality. Uh, so the quality on 90% of this is great. So don't take something being ranked higher or lower than something else as a, a reflection of quality. It's all color story and, you know, it's all subjective, especially subjective, subjective for me in this time, you know, early November, what I'm in the mood for. So, and this isn't everything that I've been trying. There's a couple of things that I have gotten that I haven't used enough to form an opinion on, I feel. So I did get the Pat McGrath Midnight Sun palette um, as part of my birthday present. And then I also got Natasha Denona Gold. And I've used both a few times, but there's still a couple shades I haven't tried really or used enough to really rank properly. So I just excluded those. So in last place in 12th spot is gonna be the ColourPop Zodiac Quads. So I bought four of these and the reason they're on the bottom is because two reasons. One, I'm not the biggest fan of quads. I find them fairly limiting, but I thought these were cute. So I grabbed them. Um, my biggest problem is they were really inconsistent. A couple of them had shades that were amazing, like really good pigmented blendable mattes, really cute shimmers, not the best shimmers, but really cute shimmers. And then some of them were just atrocious like this one here this is the libra one which is my sign and i was excited to try um it's just terrible like this light pink matte doesn't show up on me at all um this one with the libra print on it is cute and works fine and then the shimmers in this are like chalk like they are some of the worst shimmers I've ever used. Um, the two of these that are okay, I'll probably keep just because they were cute and I bought them. Um, this one is probably gonna, I don't even think I can give this away to someone. Like this is probably going in the trash. It's, it's that bad. It's dry chalk that doesn't look good no matter what. I've even, if you watch that video, I'll link it. Like I tried swatching it against the other ones and then other good color pop shimmers and it was atrocious it was just terrible okay and then the 11th spot is going to go to the Lo the new lunar beauty moonspell volume 2. so this i do really like i'm not mad that i bought this i gave it a review i have a first impression review up um and i i liked it uh so I have two reasons that this is near the bottom. One is the color story. I bought it because I liked the color story, I was interested in it, but it's not the tones that I reach for very often. I love the dark shades here, like this queenie shade, but I don't really reach for bright red and like pinky tones very often. So I'm happy I have this in my collection, especially to complete the set with Moonspell Volume 1, which I adore, but this just isn't my favorite color scheme, um, purple, red. I like it enough that I got it, but not enough to rank higher. Um, I will also say people have had some inconsistencies with this. So this was the first of his palettes that was made in China versus the United States. And I would say this was pigmented, blendable. It worked well. I don't think it was as good now that i've used it more i don't think it was as good as the other palette so it's not 
the same level as his old formula, but it's still good. So, like, this is a very good palette, and the other one was excellent, like, way up here. So, that's why it's ranking down here. But I do love it. I love the aesthetics of it. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not mad that I have this, and I have used it a few times since that review. So, it's, it's still a good palette, and if you are interested in it, I still recommend it. But it's just lower for those reasons. Okay, and the next in 10th place is gonna be the Sigma Cinderella palette. So I'm actually doing a giveaway with this, and I really like this. Basically everything from here on, I really, really like. It's more color story. So, so this, I really like. I just like the colors in the other things more than this. Um, I really liked the looks I've done with this. Uh, Sigma shadows are really, really pigmented, but they blend pretty easily. Uh, you can go overboard, so I always say start light. Um, I like that it has the brush here. I totally think this is worth the 48 I totally think this is worth the $48, $49 that it is. Um, I will say, like, this shade here is beautiful, but it's more of a topper, so it's a dark topper, and I don't love that. Uh, I would prefer a lighter topper, like, if this had been more of a topper and this had been a solid shimmer. But, like, this fantasy shimmer, amazing. This blue love it uh courtyard is a really interesting like juniper shade and i really like it it does blend out kind of gray so you should watch out for that but like the black worked well the purples worked well i really like this um i just wish that this was less toppery and i don't know i just i think i'll want this more and another time of the year, you'll see from everything else, there's a little bit more of a grungy vibe to most of this. So that's why part of why this is a little lower. But still think this is a great palette. Really happy I have it. And uh, if you haven't entered, there's still a week left of my giveaway. So you should go into that. And I will link that video. Okay, and you'll see from here on out, there's a lot of sigil inspired. I finally tried them and quickly became obsessed. So there's a lot of sigil in this ranking. Um, so next up in number nine, it's gonna be the Central Inspired Chinchilla Palette. So I really love this. Every time I've used it, had a great time. Love the look. Ian? What? Why are you huffing? Really love this. Every time I've used this, I've loved the looks. Um, it is a six pan, which is not my favorite number of shades, but it's kind of my minimum. Um, I think it's a really good six pan. My only complaint is that there's two really light mattes, so those don't really work on my skin tone that well. So I basically use the dark purple matte and then pick one of these to blend it out with. But the shimmers in this are beautiful, especially these two. Like this is really vibrant and this is this beautiful wet looking duochrome that goes from like a pale lavender to a bright blue. I adore the shade and I only got the mini in this because it was all that was available at the time. I think the full size is in stock now, but I think if I ever hit pan on this, I'll probably just buy the singles, especially this bottom row. I will buy as full size singles in a heartbeat. <laughs> so in next place is going to be the another sigil palette. This is the Call of Mist palette and this is a seven pan. And it's really beautiful. I think this is a perfect like fall winter kind of color story. Um, really love this. It's got a little bit more versatility than the six pan, um, both in shade range and number of shades because it's seven. Um, I love this. It's got this really beautiful blue. It's got this really interesting green shade here that's like I don't know, like a misty green. I, I just, I think she does a great job at curating colors, especially for a theme. Um, this shade here is basically the color of mist. Uh, this is like uh, a deep green base with a gold shift. This is a really beautiful emerald that actually shows up emerald on my skin. Um, normally greens on my olive skin kind of turn blue. The green kind of eats it. The green in my skin, I mean. So I really love this. Um, the only reason it's not higher is just because it's only seven shades and there's some other ones that I just like a little bit more, but I adore this. I adore basically everything up here. 
So the next palette is another sigil, and this is the Gazelle palette, which I also only able was <clears throat> which I was also only able to get as a mini. Um, and I really love this. This is one of my favorite palettes now. Um, there's two mattes here, so you have a light olive -y brown, like olive beige, and then a true olive -y green, and then four shimmers, and these all have an olive hint to them, um, except for the blue. The blue is like blue and pink and gold, as she describes it as the color of the morning sky, and it totally is. Um, it's beautiful. And then these are like bronze olive, pink olive, uh, and then just a bronze, and this is I love this. I wish I had all six shades as full size, and the minute this hits pan, I'm buying them as singles. Um, I I love this one so much. This is my favorite olive -y palette. This is like my perfect neutral palette. So this will be traveling with me anytime I travel from now on. Okay, and then up next, I've got the new palette from Lethal Cosmetics. This is the Berlin 89 palette. So I really like this. I the reason this is a little bit higher is because it has more shades and so there's just a little more versatility in it and i like having extra shades and versatility so this is the color story i think this is perfect for the theme i think it's a really cute color story it's got their first press multi-chrome which is also why this is a little higher um this transit shade is a really pretty duochrome it's like silvery pink um all the shades in here worked well. They're the normal lethal formula. I have a video up with basically everything here, so I'll link them all. Um, but I love this. I am really happy I got this, and I just, I'm inspired by it, and I want to keep using it. Okay, and then up next is another six pan palette. This is another sigil. This is my newest palette, and this is the Languid Chestnut Toad, and I think this might be the perfect fall palette. So this is still in stock, so you can still get this on her Etsy and her website. Um, and this is just so beautiful. So the reason this flanked a little bit higher than like the Gazelle is this has two mattes that I can both, that will show up well on my skin tone. The other one's more of a blending out shade to the green. And this, it's just, it's newer. So I don't know if that's, like I've just got it. So there's that like newness to it. But I love this. I just posted a video, a, a review of this. I've used it multiple times. Um, this down here, it looks like a coppery shade in camera, but it looks like an antique gold from my perspective. So it's got that really beautiful shift. Um, this is a really interesting like bronze with a bright green shift to it. Um, this is a very toady brown. It really fits with it. This is a really pink. This is a really pretty, I can't talk. This is a really pretty pink champagne. And this is a really cool charcoal shade. I, I love this. The other day I wore this again and I love it so much that like, I didn't want to wash my makeup off at the end of the night. And that's, that's a sign of like why it's this high. And it still looks good. Like all of her shades, they still look good at the end of the day. Like it's, the quality on these is amazing. Okay. <clears throat> So the next two are also sigil palettes. <laughs> this is like half sigil. Um, and these are ranked just a little bit higher because they have 10 shades, they have more shades. And I don't love a ton, too many shades. I'm not a big fan of like the big Morphe palettes or something like that. But I do like my, my sweet spots in that like 16 shade range, like 12 to 16. Um, and these have 10. So this is the Wind Rose Grand Journey North South palette. Um, I do have a video up with this, and I love this palette. It is so interesting. So you've got three mattes here. You've got this really pretty plum shade, like a burgundy plum. And then you've got two pale shades. Um, one is more gray and one more pink. Um, and that's part of why this is lower than the other is because these two shades are very pale and don't really show on my skin tone that well. Um, but this green shade here is like, I don't know how to describe it, it's magical. Like, it's green, it's like bright shiny green, it's got uh, like a bright purple fuchsia color to it that's like this, but bright, like kind of this shade. It's just a beautiful multi-chrome, and 
I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Yeah, you can see there's like the green, there's gold, there's fuchsia. It's, it's so good. Uh, the other shimmers are all really pretty. These are both duochromes. Um, so you can kind of see the shifting. This one's got a bit of a green to it. This one's like also green gold. This is another similar like charcoal, but this is more black. Um, there's an iridescent blue here. Uh, so it's white with a blue th shift. So this put on these others, amazing. Um, I love this, another one where I don't want to take my makeup off after I have it on. So I love this. This is also still available online. So it's more expensive. This is like, I think it translates to like 60 bucks, but totally think it's worth it in my opinion. <clears throat> Okay, so we're in the top three, and the next one is the Flaming Gold Palette from Sigil. Uh, so this one I don't have a video up on yet. I've used it, I just haven't filmed with it, because I filmed first impressions with the others, and this one, I wasn't feeling, I couldn't, I didn't have time to film, but I wanted to use it, so I just used it anyway. <laughs> and this is another 10 pen palette, and this is another beautiful fall palette. So this one has a duochrome, uh, a multi-chrome here. That's kind of similar to the one in the lethal. So it's like lime green, gold, um, bright red. It's not exactly the same in the lethal palette. I swatched them next to each other and they're not identical, but it's that similar like green, gold, red. Um, this red shimmer, really beautiful. This like, it's got a couple like bronzy shades. So there's like a bronze here and more of a gold bronze here. I can use all of the mattes in here. So all three mattes are right here. This green, there's a peach and then a brown. And that's why this one ranks a little bit higher than the others is because I can use every matte here. Um, but this is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a similar vibe as, not the same colors, but a similar vibe as the Red Dragon palette from Odin's Eye with that like green, gold, red combo. Um, so, but it's not exactly the same. Um, and I, I really love this and I need to film a review of this still. So expect one probably in the next week if my voice doesn't disappear again. <clears throat> okay, and so top two. So the next one is another one I have a video up and it is the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. So this was my first PR ever. I'm still super excited about that and still shocked and grateful. This is actually what I have on my eyes today. And I just think this is such a unique color story. And I love the Nomad formula. They're also really amazing people. Um, so this is the color story. And I think this is the perfect fall winter hybrid, kind of like some of the other ones there. Um, so you've got like warm tone, folly shades, like orange and gold and these shades here, but you've also got like cool tone green and blue and purple. And I've already done multiple videos with this. I have four looks, I have a three looks video and a first impression, and I love this. Um, so today I wore, I put Mary King's Close as a transition shade. It doesn't really show up on, it's kind of my skin tone color, but a little more yellow. So I used that as a transition. <clears throat> and then I used the green shade Grendel all over my crease. And then I used Drag's Home Castle, which is the dark brown, on the outer corner a little bit and underneath. And then I did Mary Cemetery all over the outer part of my lid and Boogeyman on the inner part of my lid. And then Highgate Cemetery is what I have down here. And I love every shade on this. Nomad's formula is, I think, really good for beginners. Yeah, I'm definitely losing my voice. It's very good for beginners. It's very blendable, very, it's pigmented, but not overly pigmented. And it builds upon itself pretty well, especially this palette. And it blends super easily. It's a little more powdery, so it blends nicely. And the shimmers in this are beautiful. They're not the same kind of like creamy multi-chrome duochrome things that are in the Sigil palette or in like Pat McGrath. Um, but they're really special. They're all really sparkly. They're really special. Every one of them has the base color you see and then little specks of other glitters that kind of correspond to other shades in the palette. So like Mary Cemetery is this green, but you can see there's gold, 
there's purple and there's blue speckles of glitter in it. So when you use it next to those, they just melt into each other perfectly. And I, I love that. So this is a really unique color story. Um, I love this. I highly recommend it. It is back in stock. It was sold, it sold out almost instantly. They were shocked. They don't like doing that. Um, they like having enough stock around. So they did a pre-order with like free shipping and stuff, but it is those all shipped and they now have it in stock on their website. So I highly recommend going and checking that out. And they just started hinting at a limited edition holiday palette that's coming out on the 16th, I think. So go check out their Instagram. They do like daily posts where they post like a clue or a shade or something about it. And you can guess what you think the shade is or what the theme is or wh whatever it tells you to do to uh, try and win the palette. And they pick like three people normally. So um, I don't know if they're doing that since this is like a special limited edition thing. I know they're not doing PR for it, but you know, they normally do that. So I would go check. Um, and if you ever talk to them or say something, tell them I said hi. Um, they're great people. So I, uh, yeah, this had to be number two. And then number one, um, if you've been watching my channel, you probably know what this is going to be. It is going to be <laughs> the Pat McGrath holiday palette. This is the Celestial Odyssey. So this was my first Pat McGrath palette. And well, this and Midnight Sun I got at the same time. Um, but I am obsessed with this. I think it's a great deal for, I think it's $78. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. I, right now the Sephora sale is going on, so you can get this at a discount, like 20%, 10%, 15%, any percent is good, but um, I'm only a VIB, so I get 15%, but it's, you're gonna be able to see everything. I'm gonna hold it upside down. <laughs> um, it's just beautiful. This was the first time I really got to use a bunch of her shades, and it made me instantly fall in love. I've used this to school a lot, where I throw like, the brown or the pink and then the dark brown or something on in my crease or just the brown or pink and then a shimmer and the shimmers are so creamy and beautiful and like this helped me understand the hype around Pat McGrath like I almost bought two more motherships during her recent sale but I finally made up my mind yes I'm going to do it and then the sale ended so I'm looking for Black Friday um because there's at least three that are really calling my name. I don't need to buy all of them at once, but like at least one or two soon. I'm also, I might try her foundation because she's one of the few that has a good olive undertone that looks like it will match me. But this, this has so many beautiful shades. You can see it's a lot of shades. It's a big palette. Her motherships are normally 125. So for $78, instead of 10 shades, you get 18 and you just get smaller amounts of each, which is fine by me. And it's, it's just so pretty. I almost bought last year's, but it was a little too, there was only like two mattes and it was a little too purple for me. This has a better mix. Um, but especially like this shade, I think this is Bronze Nova and this like rose gold shade here and the green shade and the blue shade. Like I love these. They're so beautiful. They're so creamy, they go on so easy, and they last all day. And every time I wear them, people are like, ooh, what's on your eye? It looks really pretty. So I definitely get the hype now. They don't, the camera doesn't do them justice, and the formula is just so pigmented and creamy. It's, it's something you have to try. Um, I would say the same for Sigil. I feel Sigil is pretty on par with Pat McGrath, so. That's part of why I love it. It's like Pat McGrath quality, but like Russian fairy tale themed. And it just, it speaks to me. So that's my 10, 12. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you think of my ranking and what you think of these palettes. If you have any of them or want to get any of them. And remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.